you might not think of a car as an investment. After all, depreciation is a car owner's biggest cost after fuel. And in Singapore, the COE system means that most cars only have a 10-year lifespan before they are scrapped. But a classic car goes against that norm. They've always done really well, and over the past 10 years, they're up over 180%. Um, so not as good as whiskey, but still a, still a really strong um, performing asset class. When compared to traditional assets, classic cars may not do as well as the stock market. But they're still ahead of some other assets like gold, and miles ahead of the average savings account. And like any other investment, some prior research is needed. Well, uh, if you buy a classic car, um, don't expect quick short-term gains. Um, but in, long, in terms of long-term gains, you can expect between 10-15% and right up to 100% even. Um, and in selecting the right uh, classic car to buy, it's also very important. Demand, um, I think uh, at the end of the day, it's also it's the rarity. Uh, I think that's important. Um, the car must be quite rare. Uh, small numbers production. One way to maximize the investment is to buy low. In the world of classic cars, this means buying cars that require restoration. That's been the driving principle for Kumar Balasingam since he started his collection as a teenager. Upholstery torn doesn't bother me, paintwork rusty doesn't bother me. If the engine turns over, that's a, that's a plus point. If we can start, that's, that's an additional plus point. So that's the kind of way I, I buy my cars. Kind of a junk collector. And I've seen values go up tremendously over the years. I would say 250-300%. There are two, two types of restorations. You either do a concourse restoration, which means you bring it back to like factory, better than factory new, um, or you do a restoration that brings it back to a good running condition. The restoration cost uh, doesn't drop the value of the car, it enhances the value of the car. Um, but what I would think is sometimes when you restore the cars, like some of my cars with, uh, which are worth perhaps £20,000, if you really wanted to restore it, you'd probably end up paying £70,000, £80,000 to restore the car and you won't get that money back. That's where you decide whether you want to do a concourse restoration because the car's worth it or because you love it. A Concours restoration could take about six months or more and cost anything from 25,000 to 180,000 Sing dollars. Make sure that it is absolutely original. Down to the last bolt or the clip must be original. It must be original to when the car left the factory, what did it look like? And that's what you want, originality. I think originality, uh, the provenance of the car is really important, the history, where did it come from, who owned it before, uh, you know, and all these are things that add and help the car retain its value. Classic cars can be imported from around the world, but unlike purchasing a new car, the process of buying and shipping in your classic car is usually done by the individual collector. We've got to ensure that um, the cars, the paperwork, that's very important, tallies with, with the car, it's like a birth, cert, birth certification. Um, and then um, getting them uh, shipped to Singapore. Uh, once you ship into Singapore, uh, it will go to a bonded warehouse. And after custom duties, um, we would send it to a workshop to make good uh, certain things that uh, VITAS, which is LTA, uh, requires. And um, that would get the car ready uh, for inspection. This process will take about six months. Once approved, the vehicle can be driven under the classic car scheme in Singapore. You can buy a car that's above 35 years of age and register it as a classic. And then you only pay a flat road tax of $280, but you can only use it for a maximum of 45 days a year. And uh, you pay only 10% of the current prevailing COE. Classic car enthusiasts recommend maxing out those permitted 45 driving days. A lot of people buy these cars uh, uh, and don't drive them, which is a shame. These cars have to be used, weekly if possible. If you use it regularly and you service it at, you know, at the correct intervals, these cars will give you no problem whatsoever, if it's a restored car. For Kumar, the 45-day limit isn't putting the brakes on his passion. 
he's able to toggle among his 35 registered classic cars. Today I drive my old Merc, tomorrow I drive my Honda, then I drive my Alpha, and so, it, and I've got a beautiful old Rolls Royce which I bought very cheap and nobody wanted Rolls Royces in the old days, right? Uh, and I've had it registered and it's a beautiful drive. It's a lovely, lovely.